Wait, they didn't go ahead and make that PG-13 version because of the online petition? I thought that was a sure bet! Deadpool is now available for home viewing, and I'm sure many young, eager boys and girls have found ways to sneak watching the R-rated superhero comedy. Cool parents may have even let their kids watch the film within the last few weeks. Many parents went ahead and took their kids to see it in theaters, from what I read and heard online. When should kids get to watch this film? Each kid is different, and should be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis. But I'll try to break it down for when I'll let my boys watch this raunchy comedy. Deadpool received its R rating for numerous reasons. The first being its gratuitous violence, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I'm not sure its graphic nature is really going to affect young pre-teenagers or teenagers, but any younger than that, and I can see the visuals having a negative impact. You do have Deadpool blowing the heads off of five or six guys in one shot, and cutting off his own hand. It is all still framed in a comical light, which takes the seriousness out of him brutally murdering multiple bad guys. The violence is perfect for the film, but I can see young children being affected by the visuals. I know I can still vividly see violent acts in films because I saw them too young. I try to remember how these scenes affected me before I let my kids watch a particularly violent film. Along with the violence comes the sex and language. There is a plethora of both. Language being the most prevalent throughout the entire movie. It seems every other word is a curse word within the film, but it never gets old because of the way it is used for the character. I usually have no issue exposing my oldest child, who is almost 12, to language at this point. I know by the time I was his age, I had probably heard, and probably used, most of the language found in this film. However, to fully appreciate the artistry Deadpool employs when using foul language, you have to be a little bit older to understand its brilliance, but also still be a bit juvenile in your thinking. Most of the sex jokes and references are going to go over young kids' heads, but that still doesn't mean they should be exposed to it. I think seeing strippers dance and seeing sex scenes are probably less damaging to kids than the violence, and it's easier to explain, or at least it is to me. There isn't a ton of nudity, but enough that you notice. And the sex montage to start the film is great, but you probably don't want to explain some of the things that happen in that scene to anyone younger than 14. It's more about if they should be exposed to these sexual ideas before they've even dreamed about experiencing them. Then again, this is the age of the internet, and they can find out much more graphic things with the simple keyword search. But framing sex in the right context is at least what I try to do for my kids. The context of the film is really why kids should wait to watch. A 12-year-old isn't going to understand much of the humor found in the film because they haven't had enough life experience to understand it yet. Wait a couple years and yes, they will get everything. But they are going to miss out if they see it earlier. The jokes in the movie can be seen as juvenile. But for older juveniles, and perfect for my sense of humor, to fully appreciate this movie you need to be older because many of the jokes and references are going to fly over kids' heads. I'll let my kids watch somewhere in their age range of 13 to 15 years old. And hopefully, I don't have to explain too many of the 90s references. When will you let your kids watch the violent, action-packed superhero comedy film? Did you take them to the theater and watch? Is it okay to expose them to the movie if they aren't going to get the references? Comment and let me know. Like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Thanks for watching.